Garland, how you doing, man? You all good? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you, Chris? Yeah, not not too bad, man. Not too bad. We had, had fun the other night. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've had better times. You've had better times. So uh, we had so much fun. <laughs> so, so um, you probably know what we're going to ask you. Uh, Jason is kind of agreed with both of the points that we we brought to him, but I still want to get the point to you, uh, and we'll make it nice and simple. Do you think that animal agriculture has a responsibility for the crop deaths and the damage done on the meal and oil crops of soy? Chris, I have always said that they did. No, uh, you haven't. That, that's well, could, yes, no, I have. I know. If, if Chris, you said if you Chris, said that, we wouldn't have had the coal co product argument. Chris, it wouldn't have existed. Chris, Chris, okay, if you're saying that I said that animal agriculture has absolutely can can shoulder none of the responsibility for crop deaths, that's a that's a big thing to claim. Okay, well, can, can I, I say what you, I thought you said, said and, you, and you and you can verify You've whether I'm right? Said both things. You said majority, and you've said all. Yeah, let, let, let me let me verify what I think you said, and you can say where well, I'm correct. Okay, I want to be fair. From what I can gather, you have always admitted that seven percent of the soy is fed directly to animals, right? You've always said that, and I've got no issue with that. The where I have the contention is you've you've always seemed to argue that the uh, the rest of the soy. Because the 100% of the oil is going to humans um, and the meal is going to the animals, you always kind of argue that, well, that was only a waste product. The humans are having all the, the oil. Therefore, we don't take any responsibility for that portion. Is that, is that, fair? Is that fair to say? No, that is, that, is, that is not exactly what I said. Okay, well, well can you clarify then so I can I understand what you say? Okay. I, what I said was a response. Okay. You're familiar with, um, Joey Carbstrong, Earthling Ed. Yeah, of course. Them say, yeah. Joey's a close friend. Of I know Joey very well. Yeah. Okay. So Joey has said, and he's still saying it, that if you, if you're worried about crop deaths, mm -hmm. then you must know that for instance, 70, 70 something percent of the soy that's grown is fed to livestock and that's essentially the same thing that i heard ali say during our first debate was that a very high percentage like between 70 and 80 percentage of the soy is being fed to livestock and so they were blaming around 80 percent of the soybean production on livestock and so what I've been trying to do is respond to that and say, it's not all the livestock because these are joint products. The oil and the soybean meal are produced at the same time. And so both. The it sounds like very and, different to what you've been saying. Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. what 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 I I think what you're confusing me as saying was whenever I was quoting the UNFAO paper that stated that 76% of livestock feed is inedible. And the statement that they make directly after that is if we stop feeding this to livestock, then the uh, byproducts that are left over from these processes would become an environmental burden. And so there's a large percent of there's probably, I guess it's about 67 or 76 percent of livestock feed is what I was calling a byproduct. You're calling it a co-product. The point that I'm making is that if we omit, and, and this is this is where we can move forward, is if we omit livestock altogether, then uh, what would that do? Because because what you're claiming, you know, what what the vegans and and I know that that Jeffrey hates for me to say the vegans. When I say the vegans, I'm talking about high profile vegan influencers like your friend Joey. Joey is saying if you care about uh, crop deaths, and you know, if you're the kind of person that cares about crop deaths, and he kind of has disdain for people, he, mm -hmm. he communicates a disdain for people who care about crop deaths. But if you care about crop deaths, then what you should do is you should, you should uh, be working to abolish animal agriculture because the majority of these crops are being grown to feed livestock. Okay. And what what I think that you, you've finally done is you've stepped up and you've conceded 
that the majority of these crops, such as soybeans, are not actually being grown exclusively to feed livestock. And that was what I was trying to counter. I think right now I no, appreciate that, you because you're coming forward. No, and you're that, that's me still to fair. That. This is my my actual argument is is actually a bit different to that because um, if we're actually uh, I've I've got the stats here. If we're actually comp so with soy, for example, if we're comparing how much soy is fed to livestock compared to how much is fed to humans. This isn't including biofuel because this is something that you seem to add in. You want to say the entire of human consumption. If we're talking diet to diet, we can't include things like biofuel. It's nothing to do with the diet. And it's being used by animal agriculture for whatever they use it for, for machinery. It's being used for non, you know, for vegans, for other things. But if we, so if we look at it, we, we've got here, and you can correct me if, if these stats are wrong, but um, I've got here the soy grown directly for humans, this is soybeans, is around 7%, which is about equal to what is grown for livestock. Would you agree with that, first off? Yes. Yep. Yeah. okay. So then after that, we've got the, um, the oil and meal plants, okay? And from the stats I've got from the USDA for the years 21 to 22, about 40% of the oil is going to biofuel and then 60% of that cooking oil. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, I think, where, this is, I think, where I'm not going to let you Okay. Uh, well, no, no, it, where it, it, you do, want do, to go. Well, hold on. This is the do, truth. Do you not agree no, with that on, stat? Do you on. not agree with that stat? No, I agree that humans are consuming biodiesel. Are humans consuming biodiesel? I mean, not in their diet. Not, not, not in the diet consume, sense, no. If we're talking you know, diet to diet. Humans, con humans consume entertainment. They consume podcasts. They consume I'm not sure what you're talking about here. They consume diesel. Then we're, then we're talking about diet. The, we wouldn't say entertainment's know, a part of someone's diet. Music isn't part if, of someone's if, diet. If humans are consuming it in any way, then it's being consumed by humans. We're not talking about just nutritionally. No, we, 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 we're talking about... Yeah, th this we're is, talking this about plant-based versus meat. We're not. This is where this is. I think this is the our next stepping stone that we'll have to iron out. Which is, you're saying that biodiesel is not being consumed by human beings. I'm saying it's not being fed to human beings. We're talking about food. But are they consuming it? Well, we're I mean, talking about well, the, the, well, the thing is, Garland, if, if we're saying they're no, consuming... No, we're, talking, we're not talking about diet. Well, hold on. If, if, you're yeah, saying, if you're saying... We're talking about soy. If, no, hold on. If you're saying we consume it, then also you are consuming it as well. We're all consuming right. it. Right, that's a to, that's a two quick way that you're... No, no, it, it, it just puts I'm, the responsibility no, back I'm, on everybody I'm again. Not, I, I'm not saying that I'm not consuming it, okay? Well, you need what to put I'm that in your numbers. That, if you, no, if you want to put it... Is that, now, hold on. If you I'm want to put it in the numbers for the opposition, if you want to put add biofuel into the numbers for the vegan menu, you have got to include no, biofuel no, no, on no, the numbers no, for no, the no, animal no, agriculture. No, 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 no. I'm not putting it in for the vegan menu. Well, you currently I'm are. It in for the human consumption. Uh, it's for, it's not for the vegan menu. It's for human. Then, consumption. Okay. Then, then then let me ask then why why are you talking about human consumption when the debate is clearly animal diet versus vegan diet? We're not talking about human consumption as a whole. We're talking about diet versus diet, right? No, we weren't talking about diet. We're well, that's what everyone else seemed to think we're talking we're about. We're talking about animal animal agriculture versus crop agriculture. Jeffrey, do, do, you're under the, I guess you, you chatted to Garland beforehand. I'm guessing you, yeah, yeah. this is what you thought, right? Because if this is what Always. you thought, then obviously this wasn't ironed out prior. I don't think anyone would assume that biofuel would come up in an argument against like I called animals you up versus the first plants. Time you brought like, it up. I was like, we're not consuming biofuel. Yes, we are. Because the, because, the because, because, because the thing is, if, if you if you want to if you want to do it like that, to the to the conversation, we, ha we have a consumer we have a consumer economy around the world, <clears> except for in, maybe in the uh, very undeveloped third world countries. But it doesn't matter whether it's the UK or the United States or Canada, whatever Australia. It's a consumer economy. And if you look into what that means, it means that we're consuming. We're not only consuming food, we're also consuming drink. We're also consuming entertainment. We're consuming clothing. We're consuming uh, slave products from China. We're consuming uh, marijuana that's being uh, grown with pesticides. We're, we're consuming all kinds of things, and but it's being consum consumed. And consumed, does you look up the definition of consumed, it doesn't was, necessarily was consume in the proposition swallowing was the it. word was the word human consumption anywhere in the proposition because i didn't see it what was the proposition uh, jeffrey, you, jeffrey do you remember There's that no proposition? consumption nope it was never consumption what was the, what was it the, was uh, plant-based versus animal-based
And you, you said in our first debate, it was consumption. It was human consumption. And I was like, that's absolutely not what was ever said. Yeah. And, I, and I don't know why, if, if, if you came to me and said that argument, I'd be like, why are we having that argument? I don't want to, this isn't about biofuels, you know, yeah. The, 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 it, you know, if, if we if we eliminated right, all of you, if we try to eliminate all of plant all foods, right. like a new thing too. Yeah, it's yeah hold not on. Like if, if we if we try to eliminate all of did I bring up did I bring up biofuels? Yeah, no, no, yeah, what, what the country I'm, of Africa, right? Yeah, yeah but what I'm, what I'm saying is, if we want to have that argument, what we'd be saying is, if we eliminated all plant foods, you'd still be growing the plants for the biofuels that animal agriculture uses for their tractors and God knows what. Like it's it, this is why it's it shouldn't be a part of the argument. We wouldn't even argue that. Like, it, why would you include biofuel in a thing which is, you know, any debate which is meant to be vegan versus meat eater or anything? We do not talk about things that aren't food based, <laughs> unless it's very specific, like you want to talk about animal testing or you want to talk about, you know, into what pharmaceuticals or something in that sense. But any normal debate, biofuels, I, I don't think that's the way to do it. And if that's how you've been arguing, you've been like, it hasn't been discussed. We've been arguing two different things. Completely different things. Would you agree there? That we might, may, everyone might have been arguing two completely different things? We may have. I'm trying to look up uh, the last proposition that he gave me. Yeah, I mean, I, okay. I don't know. This is between you and Jeffrey. You're going to have to... Yes, up, he, he says the, the, the words that he used were plant-based diet versus animal-based diet, which does more harm to the environment in the world okay. today. Well, there you go then. So, so why are we bringing the percentage of biofuel from oil okay. into okay, a thing about crop deaths? Then, okay, then for, for food. Um, all right. So, what I we're, we're, I want to explore that path. Okay. Well, well, well can I can before, I can I before you do that, can I finish what I was going to say and then you can do your sure, rebuttal? Sure. Okay. So, what what I, what I was going to explain from there is obviously we've. We've said seven percent for humans, seven percent for livestock. We both agreed there. The um, the oil and meal, the oil breakdown that I've got from the years twenty one to twenty two was forty percent goes to biofuel, sixty percent goes to cooking oils and food production. Yeah, would, that, would you say that's about fair? I mean, this is USDA stats, so I mean, like, I'm hoping you you would agree okay, with that. If their USDA stats is fine. Yeah. Here, let me let me. Okay, and, and then and then and then just just to continue and Could finish. Could you give me those again so I can write them down? Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, so seven percent uh, direct to humans, seven percent direct to livestock, and okay. then the oil meal crop is uh forty percent goes to biofuel, sixty percent goes towards cooking oils and food production. Wait, no, that's not oil meal. That's uh, oil. No, that's oil. just the oil. That's just the breakdown of just the oil. Yeah, that's. The oil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much you said 40 goes to? Four, uh, yeah, it said 40 biofuel, 60 cooking oil and food production. Now, yeah, anything within food production, 60%. Okay. Yeah. So if we look at those separately, the human food element is 7%, which is the direct. And then it is 60% right. of the oil and meal crop, right? The animal food side would be 7% direct to the animals. And then... What I assume, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of the meal goes towards the animals. So we're looking oh, yeah. maybe it's about 98%. Okay, so so seven percent plus ninety-eight percent of the oil and meal crop, which ultimately, as some of those oil and meal crops will be purely for meal and biofuel, you're looking at a forty percent, forty percent of the oil and meal crop goes towards more goes towards animals. So how you're arguing that the human no, that well, the, the vegan the diet is causing reason, more crop deaths? Well, I, you ex you actually explained it. You explained it. How did I explain you it? I've just explained this forty percent more. You explained it. You explained it when you when you when you described the ninety percent of the soybeans being processed to make two co products. Yeah. Right, and so if these. 90% of the soybeans are being processed to separate the oil from the meal, mm -hmm. then you can't say, well, only uh, 7%. Now, how, how much are Let's let's go over what well, you're thinking. Uh, let me try to make this you, really. Are you easy. just claiming the seven percent for humans? No, 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 no. Seven percent plus sixty percent of the oil and meal crop. So 67% of the soybean is being grown for humans. Yeah, so if, if we think about it, right, let's say we got, let's try and make it real simple, right? Let's break it down and say well, we've it's got... Well, actually, it, it, I don't think that's completely simple because we are mixing, 
In other words, we've got this. Uh, think, think about it this way, words, right? If, if we've got a hundred soy plants, right, and we're using all those those um, hundred soy plants for either um, for, for oil purposes, we're either using them for biofuel or for or for cooking, right? Forty of those crops will the oil will be used for biofuel, this and sixty of the crops will be used for cooking oil. Right. As a result of the oil being produced, there will be meal on 100% of those crops. So if 90% goes to the animals, then they're responsible for, you know, there's going to be, um, well, we, we'll round it up to 100 just to make it easy because it's so close, right? There'll be a, there'll be, a, there'll be 40%, or is it 60%, sorry? There'll be, basically, there'll be a large portion of those crops grown which are only for biofuel and only for livestock feed right and it'll be a larger portion well, than it would be the, for just yeah. cooking oil and the other way other around you kind of get what i'm saying so there's like, well yeah i i, I do i know i'm explaining it weird but it's, it's, it's nearly three in the morning so please forgive get, me if i'm being a bit what you're saying chris but this is what i'm what what i'm this is why this what this is why I'm, I want to go ahead and say this is that sure I'm going to go down this path with you. Okay, I'm, yeah, we're, go we're going to go ahead and 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 we're going to flesh this out. I'm happy to do that sure. with you. Let's break it down. However, however, like uh, Jason was saying earlier, is that that vegans have this vision, this vision of a, a an animal free future, mm -hmm. um, and so. If we Not completely if we abolish the if we abolish the animals, then what you guys will have to do is you'll have to prove that under that scenario that there would be the, that the crop that this well, I mean, we I think everyone agrees that the crop agriculture I always say the crop agriculture that also you know it, it's it's making all of our food but it also makes the vegans food right it can't get away from that that the yeah the, especially with people like we uh, can't get like away from it making your biofuel. Friend, some of your close friends saying you got to avoid organic you got to go for the regular mm -hmm. stuff which is covered in pesticides and and uh, relies upon synthetic and mined uh, fertilizers so if we're going to talk about a vegan future we have to look at it with all the variables. No, but, well, no with, with this, though, we don't. No, with, with this part, we don't yeah. need to look at the future. We just need to look at the stats for this individual crop and no, the I'm details saying, of I'm that. No, I'm saying if we're going to have a vegan future, then we have, we, we should, don't you think we should look at all the variables? Oh, don't no, no, we, no, we should. No, no, I, I agree. If we're going to look That's at the... That's why we need it, to have it, good faith debate. Yeah, Darwin, if, we, if we're going to look at the... we actually look at the numbers and don't just yeah, you know, tried that. Track. No, no, Garland, I tried that but you no, didn't no, know Garland, hold on try that, what, what, what I'm saying is is yes we do need... you know what okay what can, I, can, just can I just finish two seconds straw so... man do you do you identify that as a straw man when you say some of your friends say this <clears> and I'm going to argue that point when you're face to face with us and you're ignoring the things we say you do you identify that that is a straw man attack okay I'll ask Chris do you think that we should avoid organic do I think I'm unsure about that? Organic I, don't I don't know enough. About, I don't know enough about the argument. A to say. attack because you don't want to hear what Chris has to say. I'm waiting for him to speak. Okay, well, 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 the, what, what I want to say then, anymore. if you want to listen to me, what I want to say is yes, this conversation about the bigger picture needs to be had. But at the moment, I'd like to focus on this one argument, just this, because this is what we were talking about a hell of a lot. So I want to get a concession whether you agree or whether you can actually debunk what I've just said. Like you're saying that of when we look just at the oil, that forty percent of it is going uh, to human consumption as I'm, biofuel. I'm saying when we look at it, foods only, food products only, forty so percent more. We're not more. looking at all human consumption, right? No, we're because gonna, we're uh, going to look at a very narrow. That's factored in. This. It's it's factored in that there's biofuel. You, you can see it literally that actually. Can, can we share this on the screen? From human consumption. Can I can I um let me let me screen share this so we can actually see it. I think this might be a bit easier. So you can you can actually see what I'm looking at, and then we're we're not getting confused. I think there. I know what you're what you're doing, but I I think that the problem that I I think that can it's you pop that up, misleading is because humans are cons are consuming biofuel, not cattle or not pigs. No, we're talking about poultry. food, remember? This is what I mean. We're talking we're about not food. consuming it in our diet. We already made this clear. Why are you going back to this? 
all I'm all I'm doing is I'm trying you I'm trying to I'm trying to remind everyone that this is a very narrow perspective. No, this is just talking about food, which is what the humans subject. are consuming. You like, right. like we, yeah. Well, I mean, right. if, if you, you want to talk about consumption, we talk about everything. We talk about oil. We talk about gas. We talk about tar. We're swallowing, about... but we're consuming a, another forty percent of the oil, but in another way as biofuel. I know, but what I'm saying humans is, if we look at it as that. what I'm saying is, if we look at it for purely the food point of view. Purely the food point. That's what. But but more but food goes to the animals. That, you agree that you're narrowing the view, almost like to win an argument. No, I'm narrowing right. the view. If it was a completely different argument, but as we're talking about food, this is the, the exact argument. Vegan. No you're you're talking to vegans. We're vegan because of this diet you say we have. Like this is the whole point of that we're talking about. Yeah. Is our diets, Garland. Okay. You don't. Well, we don't consume methanol, and ethanol. No, we do consume it. We don't eat it. No, but we not, consume not in it. our mouths, no. not we, in our we, diet. Right, we don't. We, we eat need. It, okay, we, we need to. We need. It. We need to change this terminology. We're not talking about consumption, human consumption. We're talking about what okay. we eat. We're talking about diet okay, and diet go. only. That's it. Diet only. I, I'm, I'm going to tell everyone now that I'm going. I'm going to walk down this path with you, but I am going to use this video to go ahead. Oh, later please do. Because you don't want to go over the full numbers. <laughs> I'm going to later show everyone the human consumption. Of the okay, crop go, go ahead. That's that because right now you're narrowing. Go it ahead. Down that that, that won't be proof that the vegan diet. And not you, what you, we're consuming in other ways. Go go ahead and do that because it doesn't disprove what we're arguing against, which is the vegan diet. The ethanol. <laughs> the it, vegan diet no, in this case is causing less damage no, than the meat no. eating diet. That is the argument we're presenting. If you wanted to bunk us on a completely separate point, we're not even trying to make. Go ahead. Just make sure to include this bit I've said here. Because we're talking about diet and diet only. I don't know why you're bringing biofuel into it. It seems more you want to bring biofuel Always into it been. because it improves your argument. <laughs> That's what it more seems well, like. Well, humans are consuming it and it's being blamed on life. Yeah, but no one's eating it. We're not there eating it. No one's got a glass vegans, full of biofuel remember, and they're downing it. We're no. vegans. Okay, do you want Why everyone don't you like to be... Us, I thought, we don't I thought, okay, okay, animal. hold on, hold on, hold I on. I thought you wanted everyone no, to Hold on, be Garland, vegan. Garland, it, to, to be fair then, to be fair, right, you, you want to say that we're wrong on this point. Will you concede that I'm okay when it just becomes just to diet only? If, it, if it's diet only, not, not overall human consumption, purely diet, will you concede that more soy goes to animals than it does to humans? From the statistics presented, purely eating. Uh, let me look at these numbers. Yeah, feel feel free. Have a look. Seven percent going directly to humans. Mm -hmm. Seven percent going directly to livestock. Yep. And then um, sixty going to cooking oil. Yeah, that's the oil we'll breakdown. Well, I see. Yeah, I see. I see how by by removing the biofuel consumption, then you can manipulate the numbers. No, so it, it's it not manipulating. Like, it's just because it's talking about no, food. It's not manipulating. We're just talking about yeah. food. That's why it doesn't okay, exist. Okay, right? I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, so with, do, with the soybean. Yeah. Okay, so do you yeah. concede that in this case here, more soy is fed to animals than humans? Be honest. Come on. More. More is being consumed by humans, but more is being fed to, to livestock. Okay, that's what we wanted. That's it. Okay, so so therefore, yeah. when it comes to soy, more crop deaths and more damage is responsibility of animal agriculture than it than it is vegans. With no, soy, I never said with vegans. soy, I but never it, said vegans. I said crop agriculture. Okay, well, yeah, well, you know, okay, well, okay, well, crop agriculture, crop agriculture then. Okay, let's just say crop ag agriculture. Okay, well, no, well, well, actually, we're, no, we're still talking about diets. I want to know about no, diets. Well, I, but, Human but food versus animal food. My, Livestock Chris, causes more crop deaths. Chris, hold on, you you can't not avoid this thing. I you, never said, but I never said vegans. Okay, well, no, forget and the word I, vegan. I never, and I never said diet. That's fine. For, forget the word vegan. Forget the word vegan. That's absolutely fine. Okay, can you concede? That livestock, so animal foods, is responsible for more crop deaths, more pesticides, and more damage than the human food element of soy. 
from what you've just conceded, you should say yes because you've agreed there's more being grown for them. It should be a very simple answer. Well, um, come on, on be, a be on, Dolan, on please a just be honest. Since you're removing the biofuel consumption of, that humans are, are yep, doing, which we're totally you're, fine you're with. Making us, you're making us focus just on a very thin portion of what's being produced, then technically you would be right. Okay. Technically. I think most sensible people will see why we're not including biofuel in this argument. Okay, so so the next question that we have to ask is, okay, if we omit livestock, mm -hmm. by what percentage is that going to re reduce the soy, soy crop. agriculture? Okay, right, let, let, we, we can dive into that. Okay, so you, you might already be aware that when uh, the demand for soy oil isn't available, that um, another oil is generally used instead, correct? It normally goes to someone like palm oil. Would Hold you, on a second. Would you agree? Hold on a second. No, I'm not, you can't keep the, the I'm, I'm, I don't think that you should keep the scope narrow throughout this whole conversation. No, I'm not keeping narrow. I'm just saying this is right. what generally happens. No, I'm just asking if you agree no, with that. No, no, I, I don't agree with that. And this is But why. that's what happens. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to tell you why okay. it's not going to happen. Okay. There is... And, and you guys actually had this graph up here earlier. Um, I mean, the, and I can put it up. I mean, this is just a simple thing I'm asking. I, I'm just saying, when soy demand can't be met, soy oil demand can't be met, is it true that they use another oil? That's all I'm asking. This isn't be a difficult question, right? Um, I haven't seen any proof of that. Have you seen proof of um, that? Yeah, I can probably find it for you. Um, hold on. Well, let me quickly have a look. Soy oil demand actually it might actually i might have the the actual link hold on obviously i, I wasn't prepared so i need to quickly look so bear with me here I, there's nothing wrong with not having everything pulled up ready to go when you no. don't know exactly well, i mean i'm I'm, tr I'm trying to get it done quickly because i need to go to sleep soon so, <laughs> so yeah just bear with us a second um May then this one. Let me just check. Um, I don't know if you want to, um, Jeff. I don't know if you just want to help just to speed this up. If you want to quickly try and Google it, if you search for like soy oil demand, um, you know, something like palm or something, it, there should be something that comes up, or, or even like vegetable oil. It should. Um, it should kind of say that when it doesn't, it isn't reached, then they another oil. It kind of increases the, the market for another oil. Which, which would, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I mean, this, this, I, I don't know why this is a, I kind of think it kind of makes, kind of sense. You know, if if someone wants an, a vegetable oil and they can't get it from soil, they're they're going to go to another oil. Um, oh, here maybe we are seeing a significant. No, um, well, why why would they not be able to make the oil? I don't understand. Well, because you need to also um, have a, a a market for the for the meal it produces as well. We do, we, but we do. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that we have a market for that. Well, the the thing is, as a um, I've got, I've actually got a video from the VP of marketing of the soy board, which is literally um, a video on how they can use more meal because they're trying to find other ways to do it. They're thinking of trying to replace more distiller's grains or something like that. So it's not like easy. It's not like, oh, it's just like we can chuck it at them. It's like, well, they need to find a way to do, to use it, which is why they're so, they're so linked. Um, oh God, I wish I could find that link. I've got like a billion links here just going through and finding the one. Cause there was one that explained it like really, really well. Um, I wish there was like a quick way I could shovel these links somewhere and just do a search. It would be so much easier. I've actually got something that I'm ready to show. Okay, yeah. I... Okay, yeah. If you've got something to show, let's let's roll with what you've got to show first, and we can go from there. Happy to do that. Okay, so the the red bar on the the left there that is the amount, the grams of protein that you guys want to abolish. It's almost 129, it's almost 129 trillion grams of highly bioavailable, mm -hmm. high quality, uh, nutrient dense protein 
It also has all of the essential amino acids, all of the essential fatty acids. Mm -hmm. The yellow bar is, and that's what's being consumed around the world today. Okay. The yellow bar is the amount of soybean protein, and, he, and, and vegans are already consuming soybean protein. In fact, uh, the market analyses for the soybean market is touting the growth in veganism right now to being a driver for the growth of the so soybean market. And I can show you those. I, I've, like I've, the thing them. is, I, I've, looked at, I've looked at those links, and yet it is, it is driving a demand. More people want more you know, more soybeans kind of thing, but it isn't like, it's nowhere near like the driving force of like meal. Like, so soybean, soybean protein is really, as far as quality, it's not as good as meat, but it's the best that the plant world has to offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's very good. Yeah. It has the, uh, so the it's very amino likely acid. just, and I think opinion. that Jeff, Jeff, the, Jeffrey made the point the other day that, that that soybean meal might be inedible right now, but we might be able to make it edible. Well, we we, we with can a change in processing. Well, we right. can. So we, we can. We can. It has been. Okay. It is also. Yeah, we you know, we, or, we already do that now and being used in yeah. things. So it's not that it might be. Mm. It always has been. Holy so crap. in other in other words, there's a market for the soybean meal already. Very very small very small no 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 right right now right oh no now i mean for, for, i mean for infancy, human food right? it is i mean for soybean meal but, it's a market if you yes. omit that red Obviously. bar then that yellow bar is going to get consumed so so, so so what what are you what are you trying to say that, that we just need to make up the the rest of the red bar basically well i'm not saying just that we need to make it up but i'm saying that all the soybean uh pro, all the soybean cultivation mm -hmm. that's currently going on will have to continue, if not increase, because there's going to have to be something that replaces that red bar. All of those trillions, 129 trillion grams mm -hmm. of high, high value protein is going to have to be replaced. Okay. And if you're going to replace it, you're going to, I think that okay, well, soybean is going to be where you're going to start because it's the best protein. Out okay, well, let, let me, let me, let me, let me throw something out there then. Let me, basically. let me throw something out there. So we're currently using... Is your, anec is your anecdotal experience, Jeffrey, re no, representative of the I, I, Absolutely. World? My, uh, my anecdotal evidence of being a vegan, yeah. I've got something... You're, I've saying, got, you're uh, gonna say we're all gonna eat soy. I somehow... Hold on, I got, I got something we can throw out here. I got something we can throw out here. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, so... Oh, hold on, hold on. Really, really, really quick. Garland, the, uh, the super chat is for you. Can you read it? Um, Jason and I are two different types of Christian, so I'm not going to argue religion today. That's fair enough. Okay. Thanks That's for the fair. super chat, though. Holy crap. That's my first super chat ever. Thank you, okay. Vegan for the Animals. Yeah, what, what was I going to say? Uh, God, I'm trying to lost my, my trail of thought now. So um, if we obviously hop into uh, a vegan world, okay, um, what would generally happen, which is why I was trying to bring up the oil thing, is that if we're not utilizing all that meal, then the market for the oil is going to be not where it is. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be thrown off. It's going to make... You, both of you guys, both of you guys just said that the meal can be made human edible. No, no, it can. I'm not, I'm not if, denying if that. It, I'm not denying that. Okay. It, 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 that's then still if a part you of omit it. livestock... Then you're you're you've already if you omit livestock then you then the vegan population goes from what do you think it is right now? No, wait, oh, you, if total. you listen to, if you listen to everything I'm going to say, three, it will make three, sense. How how many people are in the world right now? About what is the, that? Uh, what? No, wait, wait, the, the, what, is, none, what is making it inedible edible have to do wait, with yeah, none of this, this matters none of this matters do you know what, what gibberish is garland no because you don't know what it i'm going to say so you can't say it's irrelevant when you don't know what but you I'm haven't say. gotten to the point where it matters what, what was i going to say you Chris? never do you just talk in circles what, what does say, Chris? I, okay soy, let, let, can, I, can i say my point like Chris, no one actually knows what i'm going to say edible have to do with anything jeff let chris be okay no i'm muting up okay right so this is what i was going to say okay right Chances are, right? Yes, some of the soy meal we could make to Wait, be hold to on, be human. Hold on. What do you? Let, let's just go. Wait, can can I explain the whole thing first? Because I don't. No, I feel, no, I feel I like what you're saying. Because I know what you're going to say. Okay, what am, what am I going to say? What, what you're going to say is that when we, when Garland, we let him talk. 
I'll mute we... you. You mute me all the time. No, wait, wait. I want to see if he knows. Finish. If he knows, I'm, I'm going to yes, be. Yes, I gonna... know what you're going to say. Okay, what am I going to say? I'll tell you if I'm wrong. I'll tell you if you're wrong. Is that if we abolish that red, uh, gra the red bar? Yep. Which is all the grams of protein from animals. Mm -hmm. That includes meat, fish, and milk. Yep. And that's a conservative num number because there's other sources of pro animal protein that I'm not including there. Yeah, but, but that is a total on the soybean. So but what's the, what, what's the, the point I'm about to make? You said you said you knew. What's the point I'm about to You're make? You're going to say that that if we if we get rid of livestock, then we won't need we won't have a need for soybean meal anymore. That's and not that, what that's not what I'm saying. Can, Okay. Okay. So what are, what are you saying? What I'm going to say was, okay, like I totally agree that we could use soy meal and we could convert it for human use to add to this amount of, of right. protein that we need. But right. wait, there's right. more. There's more. I need to finish. Otherwise, you won't understand my point. Right. But the thing is, the vast majority of what we will probably require would be whole, so whole soybeans, because that's what we're actually making most of the food out of. That would be the prominent one we would we would use. Now, because of that, if we're going to use whole soybeans, we wouldn't be producing the soy oil if we were growing those. You can't have both of them at the same time, obviously. So what would happen would, would be is the soy oil demand would actually drop and it would probably go to something like palm, which is more sustainable, better yield, and you know it would be an all-round better choice. So what would actually happen is the soy crop would actually get quite small. We would still use some for the oil, granted, and use some for the meal. Right. I couldn't say so exactly what percentage, but the majority so that we would grow would actually can you be give beans. Me a, can you give me an estimate? Well, well, well let's, 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 let's just say, for example, okay, let's just say that the, you know, the majority of the, the um, oil goes to palm. Let's, I don't know, let's use, say, like 80%, say, right? And then let's, let's just say that we make up the soy crop from whole beans, right? We could 10 times that. Right. If we, if we're using seven percent now, we can say we're using seventy percent. Right. <laughs> if we add on that, I mean, it's going to be difficult to argue that we're even going to use more than we're using now. Do you not think? Do you think we're going to use ten times more? We're going to need ten times more soybeans. Well, no, no, no. I don't think ten times. Well, that's what I mean. So, thinking, so, so, worst well, case scenario. All, well, what I'm trying to explain is well, worst I'm still case. Still confused, and I guess you're going to have to let me ask the question. Well, so well let me let me finish. I've got a couple more bits. You're a lot smarter than me. No, hold on. I got a couple you're more. A lot smarter than me. I got a couple more bits, and I'll, I'll let. I'll There's let you. a whole international team. No, hold on. I, I've got a couple more things to say, and then I'll let I'll let you answer. What I was what, okay. I was, what I was going to say is is if we've gone to that point where even if we're growing exactly the same amount of soy, we've still eliminated trillions and trillions of deaths from animal agriculture and just kept the same soy crop it's still a win okay it's, it's, put, it's still a better position we need, to put that, we need to put that graph back up there uh yeah we can put the graph back up if you want because it is relevant to what we're talking about sure. Go for it. okay so you're saying that we're going to keep the soybean production the same all i'm saying is as a worst case scenario even if we 10 times the production of you know what we're currently using for human consumption now, and that we can move the oil to another oil, like a palm oil, which would be more sustainable. Like right? we would still be growing the same, but we would have eliminated Wait, all the deaths involved Wait. in animal agriculture, okay. which would still be a huge, huge, huge what benefit. Percent, a huge win. What percentage of the population right now is vegan? Um, I'm about well, like two, three percent, something like that. Three. So, so, yeah, but we're not. I'm not talking about just vegans. I'm talking about everybody here. Like we're talking about the worldwide diet, here, not just vegans. Wait, hold on. Uh, if we if we abolish all animal agriculture and we criminalize the eating of well, I mean, you, you could food, technically say everyone is vegan if you want to say it like that. Okay, yeah, we have to, to, don't we? We can't continue. Or you could say, say everyone's plant based is... in this case. We could say everyone's plant based. No, no. Well, we can't say that. Well, unless you want to start talking about the elimination vegan. of wool, leather, circuses, aquariums, well, of zoos. Of course like, it then, would. Then we're adding different would. numbers in. Yeah, of course it would. So yeah, we're talking about a vegan world, right? That's what we're talking about. If you're going to abolish all animal agriculture and criminalize the eating of meat. I mean, if you a, want to talk about it, vegan, well, I don't know why it's relevant to what we're talking about. Right, let's make it a felony to, to milk a cow. Let's do that. Okay, well, what's, what, what's, so, what's your point? Let's so, get, get to what your, so your point was. My point is, is, is right now we've got 100% of the population. If we divide that by three, that's 33. And you're saying if we, if we, if we take the amount of soybean 
soybeans that, that humans are eating right now and multiply it times 10. Hold on, you, hold you, on. You, you would need to multiply it times you, you're 33. Assume, you're, you're, 3, 3, 3, 3, no, no, hold on. You're, 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 your stats are assuming that only vegans currently eat soy, which isn't true. You can't, you can't use the 3%. What about all the countries in Asia which live off of soy? Like, you know, like. Well, I think that's why this graph. I think this why, that's why this graph is relevant because no, because no, no, that's the saying red, the entire of soy the red being bar has to be replaced, and the yellow bar is how much soy protein is being produced, and that and what I'm doing, what I've done there is I've calculated how many soybeans are being produced for vegans which are three percent which isn't how no, much that's is being not eaten. For vegans Th that was no that no. was a bad calculation you're... jeffrey bad calculation you're like you can't do that right? three you, you you can't say that that's only for three percent and then no that's not what i'm saying listen okay say it again say it again say it again okay look what it says up there by the the, the this all the soybean and that's the protein that's in every soybean produced, not just the the soybeans that are processed for soybean isolate, mm -hmm. uh, soybean soy protein isolate. It's not just the soybeans that are being crushed. Mm -hmm. It's not just the seven percent that are being consumed directly by humans. That is all the protein in all the soybeans in the world. Right. That's being produced today. And so if you took all the protein, all the, if you took every soybean that's being grown this year and removed it from the soybeans for human consumption, that yellow bar would represent all of the protein. There would be no more soybean protein available after that uh, soybean protein there in the yellow bar had been extracted right. from I'm... every soybean in the world. So if you keep today's soybean production exactly where it is and you sub, you extract all of the protein from that those soybeans then you're at that yellow bar you're still not even one third towards the amount of protein that you have to replace yeah hold on hold on could, could i just say something right here right so i've just read what's on the other side of this screen and i think it's something very important there um so so the graph we've got there Okay, that's how much soybeans is being at the, made at the moment. And the red is how much meat and protein we're getting from there. Okay, it says here, a There's vegan no world soy. would require soybean production to more than triple, 3.289. If we tripled that yellow section there, okay, yeah. that would equal about the same, right? It would, well, except that we also know that, that plant proteins are not as digestible they're not as bioavailable. They don't. There's a, there are uh, nutrients that are missing from it, and so there, uh, it would have to. You would have to produce more soy than it, there is meat right now because all of that soybean protein is not going to be bioavailable. Yeah, but this is so, what, what I'm what I'm saying is from what, from what I said about if we moved the oil to somewhere else and we're just only growing it for human consumption, we're not even going to need to make that much. We're not, we're not even going to have to grow that much, really. It's not, no. it's not going to be a big deal, considering the amount of death on the other side we would, we would lose. I, I, can't see, I can't see why that's, that's bad. I mean, if you want to argue it from a health point of view, that's a different argument. But I mean, I'm just talking about it from, from well, animal it, lives. Doing, we, like... have, we have to do it for health, right? We have to do it for health. I know veganism isn't for health, but we don't want to replace the system we have now with a system. Okay, that so, are dying so if we're talking about health dead. again, would, would 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 you concede that if we um, eliminated animal agriculture and we moved over and we increased the soy, would we still be causing less deaths, animal deaths? Well, how much how much are you saying that we would? Let's agree first on how much soy we're going to have to replace, or how how much are we going to have to ramp up? Soy well, well, what, well, what I'm saying is, it said here it needs to triple by three point two eight nine, right? Well, considering if we move the oil across, right, we only need 7%. And then we triple that because we're not using the meal for the, um, currently for the human food. So, I mean, talking, it's going to be about talking, the same, if not slightly about, less, right? But, am, am I wrong? But we're talking about it in, in, under, in, a, ve in a vegan world, 100% vegan population around the world. 
you're going to have to I'm, I'm going from really what it fast. says on your on your screen where it would need to triple but I'm saying if you eliminated the oil and put it back onto something like the palm oil and then you're growing the 7% 3.28 times that works out 21 Where's the twenty one percent? So it's only twenty one percent of that graph, right? Where's the seven percent coming from? Well, the seven the seven percent is what we currently grow for human consumption, right? Right, but yeah. Where, so where if we need to triple that, that that's twenty one. So where have you replaced that? No, not no. I'm talking. Am, about am, that. I, am I am I looking at it wrong? If I am, if I look at it wrong, you can yeah, tell me. Like I'm fine. Like right. what just I explain it. Is a vegan world would require soybean production. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about that 7% of the soybean production that's currently going directly to animal. No, no, I'm talking about no, I'm talking about the 7% that going directly to humans currently. Right, you're talking about the 7% that's going directly to humans. Yeah, the soybeans that are directly fed to humans. Right. I'm saying if you need to triple right. that, then that's 21%. Right, 21, right? Yeah. But but if you do that, then you're going to decrease the amount of uh, soybeans that you're cultivating, correct? Um, One, well, well, yeah, because 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 we wouldn't be growing them for the okay, oil great. and the meal as much okay, anymore. Great, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so what percent is the yellow bar rate? just for humans, or is that humans and agriculture also? It's humans and it's every it's every soybean for every reason that's being grown. Okay, every oh, wait, wait. So so we so we're including biofuels in here again still. Yes, we're every. You don't use soybean protein for biofuels. Okay, but again, so you can extract oil out of a bean I'm talking biofuels. Garland, Garland, th 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 this, 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 this is why this, this is this is why we get mixed up because we're only talking about the diet at our side. That's all. That's that. That is our argument that we're trying to argue with you. We're not arguing. We, we can totally agree we, that there would be a large portion. Chris, Chris, Chris. No, no. I'm saying I can agree with you that there would be a large portion needed for biofuel, like, or, or, or although we are saying that will move to plant. We're, we're past so. that now, Chris. We're past that. So what are you talking about then? I don't we understand what you're talking about. We had that conversation earlier, and I said yes. If if it's just if we're going to look at this narrow portion of the soybean uh, crop, and we're going to omit the biofuel that humans are consuming, then yes, you would be correct. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. But, hold on. but now what we're looking at is we've moved past that. Hold on. Okay, second. we've hold moved on. past that. And now we, I went down that path. Okay, hold on. I can, I can explain I this. I can explain this. Uh, we won't need the soy because, um, I mean, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but soy isn't even the most efficient biofuel, is it? Like we can just switch to another. So why do we need well, to grow? Why do we need to grow soy for bio oil, yeah. oil when there's probably a, a more efficient oil? So because this isn't about uh, biofuel. This is about okay well, protein, human diet, the human okay, diet. Okay, th then then what I said was correct. Then if we're only talking about that, then if it's seven percent is currently grown for humans, and your thing over here says that it will require to triple, that's twenty one percent. No, that's not. So which is twenty one percent of your yellow box? No. 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 Read that first sentence. It says the vegan world would, would require, require so, yeah, to more than triple production. All yeah. soybeans, all soybeans produced it, in the world for every reason would have to triple to. Just no, hold on. Up hold on. Protein wise, oh, you, you're contradicting yourself. If it's if we if we if we're saying that the biofuel has gone elsewhere. No, that was that was the. You and I already agreed on that. I conceded. Exactly. That's what I I'm conceded. saying. That's what I'm saying you I did. Conceded. Now, but so now I don't understand what you're talking that, about Chris. now. I don't understand what you're talking no, about. You seem to be no, talking about more than food now again. We're, we've, what we've done is we've broadened the... We, you and I already... I think what you're doing is you're going back to a, a previous conversation that we had. And you're confusing... The facts from that. No, I'm trying to eliminate biofuel and talk about food and protein. I conceded. I conceded. Do you? Do you? Maybe if you could get up out of your chair for a minute, Chris, and do a jig <laughs> and celebrate. No, I can see Garland. Like, okay. I, I think I think we might okay. we might just be both agreeing and talking past each other here. No, like, I I, I, I I don't want to talk about biofuel. Yes, you've conceded those things. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean. Okay. By, by, could you say my stat is wrong? I don't then understand I you, what, what, what you mean. Okay, then I'll, I'll, what, what this, I'm going to tell you what the yellow bar is, and then I want you to forget about the yellow bar. Well, how about I explain what it is, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So, you've got the red bar is the protein from all meat, fish, milk currently consumed on the planet, right? The yellow box is the soybean protein, 
which is actually I, I, I can't see the bottom word. What does it say under currently? Because it's covered up on the screen. Soybean protein currently consumed. I'm if guessing. If we could put us over on the side again, then I think we'd be able to see. Yeah, can you do time. that? Because I so I can see it currently currently produced. Okay. So hold on. So hold hold on. The, the, uh, soybean currently produced, currently consumed. Are, are you, you, you're kind of using consumed and produced interchangeably there? You, you're saying they're both the same thing? The reason I use consumed on the, uh, the red is because that's all human dietary. Okay. And the yellow, and what, I, what I'm So the yellow includes everything, kind of including the biofuels, everything. That's everything. Just every soybean we we do, that's the protein right. of everything so, combined. Right. So right? I think the, the reason it's an important visual is that let's say we got rid of the biofuel and this, this doesn't really, if you're going to remove the protein, that doesn't really affect the oil production. Mm. So the oil production could still be going on, right? So that should be like a, that should count in your favor because you don't, you wouldn't have to ramp up because palm oil is also destructive. So, you know, this, this would mean that, yeah, those every one of those soybeans right there could also be the oil extracted out of them and they could that could go towards our bio, biofuel needs if we need them mm. but th but this is if we were to extract all of the protein for from all the soybeans that are produced today yeah for every reason then that yellow bar represents that that those grams of protein that we could extract yeah. from the soil uh, and, and, and so and yeah and so according to you we would need to triple that in order to match the protein currently consumed globally is that correct I, well I, I said what i'm saying in, in the paragraph there is not triple but it, in order to match it exactly and i would argue that the soybean protein is not as uh bioavailable it's not as digestible so i think it would have to be more than 3.289 times okay. but i think just to just to uh, for you know for argument's sake to make it simple, let's say we're just going to match it exactly. We would have to take the soybean production that we have today in the world mm -hmm. and multiply that times three point two eight nine times to match that protein. Okay, right. Give me two seconds in, in I'm grams. To do a calculation. Yeah, one two, uh, one nine nine seven five. Oh, three, seven, six, one, six, zero. Okay, so according to my calculation, so I have just divided the current meat fish protein currently consumed by the soybean protein currently produced. It says here that to match them, we would need 3.289, which is exactly what you've, you've written there. Okay, so... <clears throat> So yeah, so basically, yeah, so basically, what you're saying is, it, yeah, it would triple, right? My argument is, even if it, even if, okay, so let me try and understand, because maybe I might admit that maybe I, I've got it wrong. I could have got it wrong here. No, I'm, I'm always happy to to do if I did. So what you're saying, yeah, it would, it wouldn't say the same. It would triple. Is what you're saying here? It, well, it, I'm just saying because I, I might be wrong. I, I'm least, more than happy to admit mistakes that I've done. Triple, and then we wouldn't be finished because we would also have to do take some other measures as well. Okay, because the the, the reason that I'm wait, um, so much the current protein consumed globally. I think I'm just misunderstanding. It's probably because it's half three in the morning. <laughs> so please forgive me if I'm being a bit slow in picking this up. Like if, if there's a normal time, I'd probably got this a bit, a bit faster. Jeffrey, do you kind of understand what's being said here? Can you kind of help me out a little bit just to make sure that I'm understanding things correctly? Oh, you're muted, by the way. I can't hear you. The last few minutes, I've been uh, kind of paying attention to something else right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, well, I've been in the chat. Well, let's say, let, you know, let's just say for the sake of argument, right? Let's say we have to triple the uh, the soy production, right? Let's say let's say that's what we have to do, right? If, with tripling the soy production, we eliminate all the land that's been used by animal agriculture completely, including oh, oh, all the deaths oh. from any oh, animal oh, agriculture activity. Are we still in a better position? Okay, first, first of all, we would have to, uh, tri tripling the amount of soybean cultivation would take up 
some land, correct? Oh yeah, of course it would. Yeah, of course. Well, okay. Would it take up more before land? Before we now? go there, well, well, hold on. Just before we go there, because I don't think it was cleared up. Why would we have to triple the soy? You can explain that to him, Chris. He'll, he'll just yell at me. About <laughs> I think, from what you're saying, if it's correct, is basically this is the amount of soy that we're we're currently growing. Basically, the red is the protein that we currently people are currently getting from. No, no, no. I get I get what he's saying, but I why would we need to replace it with soy and not other things? Why would we mandatory have to triple the soy uh, actually, uh, well, if we could triple actually, all kinds of other? You know, we could make that higher. We could yeah, replace hold on. that protein the, with the, the, tons that, of different stuff. That that is a, that is a valid point, Garland. Like this here currently doesn't equate for the other calories coming from all the other foods that we already currently grow as well if we right. if we factored that in as well where would that chart be in comparison because then we might not actually well, need to grow as much you kind of see where we're coming from that i'd be interested to know are if... you are you confusing calories with essential protein essential <laughs> amino acids I mean, I mean, it depends. We eat a varied diet. We don't just live off of soy, though. We eat different things, and we get right. But 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 we do need. So we might argue that soy is a complete. If we were eating only soy, yeah, we would have amino deficiencies. But we don't all eat only soy, and we we would obviously be getting our stuff from all all kinds right. of different. Yeah, stuff. and 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 hold on. As much as you don't like the the, the products, and I know we, I don't want to go into a conversation about these, but the um the mock meats that are being created as well are also containing a lot of these <laughs> proteins and how like, to equal soy so yeah, I, livestock eat like a million times more soy than than the average human garland like obviously the average human if if the if the cows were gone the huge amount of soy that's exists like the humans would only be able to eat so much of it before it's just like mm. that's too much so clearly you know the amount of soy would come down and the 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 demand for protein sources would bring in you know products that aren't soy based uh, to fill that demand. Like I don't get this like having to triple the soy and forcing everyone to eat soy. This is some weird like vegan yeah. agenda conspiracy. Uh, yeah, that you're pushing, yeah, it, 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 and you're wasting all this time yeah, on it. You're right. And I, I know I'm surprised. I've probably because I'm tired. I didn't pick up it before. This, this is kind of assuming that it's a world with only soy and a world with only meat, fish, and everything. This this uh, yellow one realistically should include the total protein from all the foods that we're currently to see then what the deficit would be. Like well, when I, I said don't. earlier, I don't eat soy ever, you know, that, that was kind of to prove this point. <clears throat> I'm a vegan and, I, and, and most vegans I know don't eat a lot of soy. You're, assump you're assuming our diet by thinking we eat soy all day because you think we eat, you know, impossible burgers and stuff all day. But that's not actually the, the reality. Yeah, I mean, a lot of all whole food me? vegans don't touch it barely at all. Right? Yeah. Can you tell me where you're getting your, your protein from? Pretty, it's not about where I'm pretty getting much my everything. From. everything. Everything has got protein in broccoli, rice, like all kinds of stuff, like yeah. vegetables, like quinoa, lentils, Brussels sprouts, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. We've only got to hit like, What does that matter? Well, I think like, what, not what, soy. It, what it matters is very, that... you know, I, I'm not saying I don't ever eat soy, but it's not a, a normal hmm. thing that I eat. So the, to, to think that all of us would just yeah. eat nothing but soy. Yeah. We've only got here our know, RDA. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Right. When you said earlier, you said we can't change our diets to where people are dying. Like, well, am I dead? I've right. been vegan a total of 20 years of my life. Like, have I died yet? Like, there's tons of vegans that are in perfectly good health in their old age, 80 years old, you know, perfectly healthy. Have has it, have they died? Like you're making it out. You're you're building a false narrative. No, like you're using I, I you're using those, your 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 conspiracy yeah. theory stuff to like push this like science we're trying to do. That red bar has to be replaced. No, it, yeah, it, it with does. Yeah, tons of other stuff. It won't just be it, soy. It protein. does, but what I'm saying is replaced with protein. But but what I'm what I'm saying is is some of these uh, some of the other protein values are already exist. We don't need to to grow or to replace them. They're not included in this chart. Okay, so so let's say that we leave the soybean protein con, uh, production the same as it is and don't increase it. Yeah, Monk would, beans, would that be fair? E protein, garbanzo beans, 
Right, but what, what all does... kinds of lentils, be all kinds of protein. I mean, what I'll be interested in seeing. I don't know whether you got the stat. Jeffrey, Have we got uh, Chris and I were having a very cordial com no, conversation. No, it's cool. I'm, and now I'm, you're bringing I'm animosity. Just hanging out. Yeah, Garland, I've, I've got a quick question because I don't know whether you've got it on hand at all because I haven't looked up. Do you know the total amount of protein currently grown uh, for human consumption for crops? Do we have that stat? What is the primary protein that's... Well, it doesn't need to be a primary protein, protein source, protein? just protein across all all the foods that we're eating. No, no I don't. You don't? Because that is what should be compared, ultimately. Because like I said, because we're not even eating one product and we're switching, as long as we get our RDA, we could get a little bit from this food, a little bit from this food, a little bit from that food. They, they all add up. So what we need to know, really, to make this fair is the actual total of... Um, consumable protein we have currently in comparison okay. to the other one and then we will know what we need to make up all right so we don't we don't know um right now we can't say that soybean the soybean market or the soybean production would go down you you concede to that right well the thing is i i, I don't okay. I, I would say i don't know at this point i would say I, I literally wouldn't can't can't say yes or no i'm uh, okay. You could be right, you could be wrong, I don't know. You would concede that broccoli is not a good source of protein, wouldn't you, Chris? Um, lots of protein. Jeffrey's broccoli. probably the better person to ask the... Yeah, there's lots of protein. Uh, the only broccoli. reason, the only reason I'm saying that... Garland, well, Garland, Garland did, uh, this whole gap between, between the uh, above the yellow, that would be filled with vegetables. Yeah, Garland, the only reason I'm saying to ask Jeffrey about yeah. those things is that the health side of stuff you're not, is not, not my expertise. The, the health side of stuff and how much protein things is yeah. not my expertise. Remember, Jeff is your you, person. You speak to, to about I that. think what you guys aren't, maybe you're not factoring. Why would into, we, why would we grow soybeans if I we could just grow more vegetables, into your, Garland? I think what you're not factoring more into your, vegetables. I think what you're not factoring into your <laughs> algorithm, <laughs> Jeffrey. No, hold on, let, 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 let him speak. Your algorithm is that in a vegan world, you would have to take the number of vegans that exist right now and multiply it times 34. Yeah, yeah but hold on. Let, 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 me, get, let me give you an example head. of why this would be wrong. Okay, so for example, this is just a quick off the top of the head thing. From what we know, about 36 to 41 percent of corn is currently fed to animals. Okay, so if we added corn on top of this as edible carrot, um, carrot I don't know what the protein is of corn. I'm just using this purely well, as an example. To, you have to know what protein. You can't just say calories. That's, that's no, no. I'm, I'm not trying to say it. I'm dangerous. just using this as an example. You I'm just, I'm just saying a product like them, that. You can survive on just calories they're just no, no i'm not i'm not trying to say calories I'm, I, I could be using this as a wrong example and i fully admit that all i'm saying is yeah, if there's a product like that that has more protein dangerous. then we need to add that onto the chart it needs to be added to the yellow okay let's look that up can we look up uh how much protein is in corn i mean corn might not be the best example jeffrey you 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 know better what the higher protein sources are what what, what should be good ones to we start adding to replace here. that red bar with something uh bro you're all of that broccoli it. and spinach Okay, Give yeah. me a minute. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds great. So let, let's get some of the higher protein ones in there. Um, is, is is protein um, lentils normally a good one as well? Jeffrey, lentils, are they, are they pretty good? Jeffrey, yeah, are, are lentils any good? Are they, are they good protein-wise? You're muted, by the way. Yeah, garbanzos. I oh, know you're back. Okay. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Look up chickpeas. Okay, chickpeas. Okay. So let's say chickpeas. Um, um, one cup. Total protein. I'm trying to work out. Is there an easy way to find this out? World. One cup of one cup of raw broccoli is uh, 2.3 grams of protein. Okay. And how, how do we work that out on the how much protein of that is currently produced if you maybe look up how many i mean that's a bit of a difficult one i guess <laughs> like if you want find out try and find out the, like the weight maybe. the broccoli weight uh crop weight in in total maybe and then you can work that out by protein um i mean the thing is what, like the thing is what, weight what, the thing is, we'll be here for a while because we'll be adding broccoli. We'll be yeah, adding this the, is kind of like all a, the different beans. I, I mean, I, I, it's to kind of speed it up. All we're kind of saying is there needs okay, to, so a, is that yellow cup, needs to be. A cup be... of chickpeas is 10 grams of protein. That's a pretty no, easy number to deal with. Okay. So a cup per 10 grams for chickpeas. Okay. And chickpeas are a replacement for a lot of can we, can vegan we get the, foods. Um, can we get the, uh, the total uh, chickpea production? Uh, chickpea production. 
Okay, so it's got tons. So if you could, um, oh, is this, is this a, actually, is this says pulses. Let's just add pulses. And so if you work out 89 million metric tons and then times that by the, uh, if you work out the, the protein from that, you should be able to, um, whatever the calculation for that would be. Can, can I uh, suggest a, a tandem uh, lookup here? Sure. In addition to what you're looking up, I would like us to uh, look up and I are, I've already done it, but you guys. Or can... we could end on this and 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 start on this. Okay. Next time. Oh yeah, okay. just to everyone know. I'm probably going to spend another 15 minutes, and then it's going to be 4 a.m. I need to sleep after this. Okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But we've got a couple. It's, we've got 15 minutes. Here, this is a this is a study that was done by uh, um, Food and Science Nutrition Magazine or uh, Journal June. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, drop 20, the link. Drop 20, the link in the 20. private chat or something so we can take a look. Okay. It says that. Uh, the digestibi digestibility of raw chickpeas has been reported between thirty four percent and seventy six percent. I mean, this may have slight relevance, but I mean, it, we're, we're looking at more than just chickpeas here. We're looking at like literally every single other thing that has protein to get the total amount of protein that is currently available to us. That's what we're looking at. Right. So what, what I think we'll, what we'll do after we wrap this up tonight yes, is we might need to come back to this. Get back together. Yeah, we'll do some research. We can, we can figure out how much crop agriculture will have to increase. Sure. In a vegan world. Sure. We yeah. can speculate. We can estimate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm totally down to do this. Because, I mean, what ultimately needs to be proved is that the amount of um, cropland that would need to be uh, additionally be used will be greater than the amount of land that would be saved from the elimination of animal agriculture as well. Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. You're not going to save land by removing animals. Well, from of course you will. No. No. Yeah. What do you mean? If, if we don't need to increase the crops as much as all the land that's being used by by cattle and pigs no, and chickens and because, all the things that come along with it. Because, the, for instance, here on the North American continent, before the European settlement, we had bison, we had deer, mm -hmm. elk, moose. Uh, we had a prong ho pronghorn uh, antelope. That it, well, It's not a true antelope, actually, but it's, uh, they, there was like uh, 65 million of those. Uh, they were roaming around uh the north american continent so we want to replace that with cows well we can replace it with any ruminant that's going to uh <clears throat> build build the soil because that's the, you could just burn you know you can just do control burns and and do that no you can't and, and just control let burn? nature go back and take over again no control burns yeah. will remove carbon from the the soil no <laughs> that's not not how it works dude yes it is yes it is no, it's the, your yes. your whole regenerative grazing thing. That's that'll be another subject we'll have to get into. But you hold, know. On, hold on, let, let, let's just say, let's just for example say that's true, right? What about all the factory farmland, which isn't pasture, isn't being grazed, isn't anything? If we use that for crops, then technically, why would we need to be? You know, we could still potentially save. Like majority of the world's animals are in factory farms. They're not. How well, yeah, yeah. The factory farms are concentrated feedlots. I don't, I don't like those things any more than you, you guys do. Mm. Uh, I'm against concentrated feedlots myself. Yeah. But what I'm for is, and and Jeffrey will will uh, argue with me on this. But the reason we, when we came to this continent, and we found all of this black soil, it was rich in carbon, it was rich in nutrients, and we didn't uh, require any type <clears throat> of synthetic synthetic uh, or, or mined fertilizers back in those days. We do now, partly because every time we till, we lose carbon. And every time we use these synthetic uh, nutrients, we kill soil life. And so the mm. ecology will teach you that animal manure plays a huge role in enriching the soil and adding mm. carbon to the soil. And the studies that have been done to that that uh, Jeffrey would refer to are a very small, I mean, like earlier, I told you that there was a study that showed that 50% of the women in, UK, in the UK cannot convert beta carotene. 
And you said, yeah, but that was only like 56 people, fixed 56 women or something like that. I couldn't yeah, it was a really, s- I, I, haven't, I haven't read it for a while, but I remember it being a very, very small sample size. So it's not right, something- let's, say it was, let's say it was 50. Well, the, the study that, uh, that Jeffrey is referring to is only looking at one regenerative farm. So to try to try to paint all regenerative uh, rotational grazing with by looking at one farm, that's not e- that's not that's even less. But that's still our valid. best empirical data on it, though. I mean, I don't know what the study your, is. I, your I'm study not sure that has looking. plenty of studies that can counter it. Well, then then that uh, that beta carotene is our best empirical data as well. So. How okay. are you well, going to pick and choose? Let's not get too far into this. Yeah, because I thought we uh, have to sleep. Let's this up. <laughs> this guy, got, he's, been, he's been up all week, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'm real lacking in sleep. Thank you, Garland. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate, really appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think this has been a lot more constructive than the debate. Hell yeah, way more. Everyone because, does. Uh, and I, I think because we've not got, you know, there's no pressure from the debate. Obviously, in the debate, Everyone gets excited. Everyone gets riled up. Everyone just wants to go in. It's all part of the fun, all part of the drama. But at least now we've been able to go through individually the bits and deconstruct it. And I think, yeah, I appreciate you you being honest with us, Garland. Just so you know, I am not a hired person to target you, okay? 100%. I have a job. I'm a video editor. And um, I definitely uh, do not get paid by Garland. You're not a show for... Or Tyson... Or anyway. Hungry man. I get paid by mum bloggers and that want me to edit their vlogs uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, you you were the only one of your of your gang, so to speak, that was commenting in my on my channel. And when I blocked you, they all got very pissed off. Like Most of them I haven't blocked something. you though. Like Ellie didn't block you. Chris is a really yeah. nice guy. I could Ali see why didn't. they got pissed off. <laughs> Well, I don't know who else blocked you. I, I have no, literally no idea. Like you said about David Ram, I, I don't know lift, whether he has or not. Vegan know Logic him. blocked me. Uh, David Rams blocked. Me. I mean, if they did, tell those guys, tell those guys to unblock me. I'm, I'll unblock you. We blo- unblock each other. But I mean, why? Why should it require you, them to unblock you? What was me? Because, because if you're going, if you're going to be able to spread your propaganda in my backyard, I want to be able to spread mine. In I yours. mean, my channel is open. You can post what you want. No, you don't have a, an active channel. You should have kept, kept it active. Well, Ellie's is. Ellie's is active. Well, no, I, I, Ellie, I want to comment uh, on David Ram's channel. I mean, that, that, I think that's something you're gonna to have to take up with him. It's not really up to me for him. He's, okay. he, he's his own person. I can't tell him to right. unblock yeah. you. He's your buddy, though, and you talk to him. Yeah, of course. You might even be editing videos for him. I don't know. No, I don't edit videos for David Rams. You're straw manning again, Garland. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said he was a professional video. Yeah, he does his own editing. Straw man farm. But yeah, like right. that, that, that's that's ultimately nothing to do with me. That's something you're gonna have to take up with with David. You want to shout out your channel Garland? for his own reasons, but sure, Garland Farms. Yeah, but Garland Farms on YouTube. But yeah, let's have a catch up then, and we're going to basically go over that chart again, and we're going to see maybe next week. Um, yeah, give me a little bit of time. I've got some work I'm meant to be doing, which I haven't been doing. And, so and maybe we can be a little <laughs> bit more with, accommodating. I could do with having a bit of work. Your, time. Uh, your time zone. Yeah. And if we can get this, at a, yeah, a more reasonable time than 3am, that would be super helpful because my brain will be a little bit more working when I'm a bit more awake. <laughs> well, I think I did all right tonight. It was only towards the end I started to flake a bit. But besides that, I think I was, <laughs> I think I was okay. That B12 deficiency kicking in, isn't it? So yeah, 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 brain fog. Well, thanks, thanks for thanks for letting me come on, Jeffrey. I enjoyed. Yeah, it. man. No worries. I'm glad we I could really finally chat. I really appreciate you coming up and being honest like, tonight, Garland. I honestly, I'm glad we could finally chat. I mean, we have been talking in the comments for a long, long time, and obviously, I did offer to chat to you a long time ago. Whatever your reasons were, you didn't want to, but I'm glad that we finally made it happen. Anyway, and we can be amicable, which is nice. Gar- Garland, did you know that he was the crab? <laughs> I have to get you somehow. <laughs> I can I can confess now. I can confess. I, I was the crab. I was the crab. You bastard. <laughs> yeah. Can't get one past How me. Awesome. <laughs> I always find a way. Always find a way. Right, guys. I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna go to sleep. Lovely chatting to everybody. Have a crab debate. Yeah. Yeah. Garland. Thanks, we, we will chat very soon. Um, we'll maybe organize maybe a chat next week or something. I gotta get some work done first because I've literally been not doing any work because I've been doing stuff like this uh and yeah 
All good. And yeah, Jeffrey, thanks for having me on your channel. And I guess we're streaming on both. So yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Sweet. All, All right, right, guys. I will leave you soon. Yeah. See you in a while. Good night, Chris. Good night.